Hey everyone, I'm starting a Patreon campaign because I need your help to make my next big project. If you haven't heard of Patreon, you should check it out. It's a really cool new platform that allows you to contribute directly to creators like me so that we can keep making content that you love. Now I got a whole bunch of music videos lined up ready to shoot, but I want to make them part of something bigger. Let me tell you about this series that I'm working on. Everyone likes music, right? People sure are passionate about what they like. Uh, actually, I really like Kanye. Kanye sucks. You suck. I love everything about music. Most people I meet also like music. But I find it kind of strange the way people talk about music. You know, the guitar lick was really mellifluous. The piano's kind of sarcastic. The beat is really moist. Those vocals were just mmm, yum, 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 yum. The chorus is a big, delicious bubblegum flavor burst. Didn't even make that one up. It's an actual quote from Rolling Stone magazine. Check the link. It's become really common these days to discuss film for its technical merits, right? Ooh, that was all done in one take. Wow, that wasn't CGI, those were real stunts. See, whenever I talk about music that way, I get blank stares. See, you hear how he manipulates that original sample from the 70s by just looping that dominant seventh chord? Doesn't result with the cadence till you get to the chorus. That's what gives you that build up of tension. Ever since I was a kid, whenever I heard a piece of music that made me feel a certain way, I wanted to know why I did that. Or at least what it was about it that had that effect. So you hear how there's that really punchy hollow bass line, and then there's the really high melody that he's singing in falsetto, but there's really not much going on in the middle registers. That's what gives it that really sparse texture. I want any fan of music to understand the theory that explains what makes it sound the way it sounds, so you can better understand why it makes you feel the way you feel when you hear it. Oh. Master Sirenia, I know this. Yeah, it's, it's awesome, isn't it? You know there's three modulations in it? They change key three times, and each time they go down a major third, which means by the time you do that three times, you're back in the key you started in. E minor, C minor, A flat minor, back to E minor. It's really clever. Mark Twain famously said of the composer Wagner, I hear Wagner's better than it sounds. Is that right, so I just want to keep creating the kinds of videos that I already do, but make them part of a bigger series. Basically where I just talk about music and analyze music and make music. It'll be better than it sounds. And with the support of the Patreon campaign, I'll have the resources and the incentive I need to do it. I can't do it without your help because not a lot of you know this, but I am really lazy. Plus, you deserve better than me filming on my phone while I'm on tour in a hotel room in Christchurch. If that sounds like something you want to see, get on board my Patreon campaign, throw some support my way by pledging whatever you can afford, check out the rewards I've got on offer, and help me make this dream of mine a reality. Thanks for watching.